What is up? Welcome back. We are on a, a good trend of, of you know, clean desk. So we have the, <clears throat> excuse me, okay, I'm here. Let me get some water actually. I was working on previously and as you can tell the skins are not doing too hot. So we're going to talk briefly about what I do to fix that. And the short answer is glue. Um, I use a special kind of glue that is um, toxic, flammable, great for losing brain cells. Uh, I've talked about it before and a few times. Uh, when, when I was moving up here, actually, it was in my car with me. And the big container I had that's about the size of a paint can spilled everywhere and I was driving alone through the Nevada desert at like 10.30 uh, seeing a lot of different sights and sounds that weren't actually there because of said toxic fumes. So that's cool. Kind of lowered my life expectancy but it makes for a great story. <clears throat> and what is life? if not a collection of great stories. So, fun fact, used to, back in the day, just use Elmer's glue. And to be honest, that also kind of works sometimes. Uh, sometimes you need to bring out the big guns. And this is kind of, this is kind of the big guns. This is a contact cement made by DAP. And you can find it at um, Ace Hardware, any kind of hardware store. I would show it to you, but due to the fact that it's in a giant paint can with the lid off, I don't want to have a another spilling issue. And yeah, I recommend this. Uh, I think it works pretty well. It's easy enough to apply and less is definitely more. But the good thing about it is it doesn't make it too difficult to pull the skin off again. However, that being said, it also doesn't necessarily um, not work, if that makes sense. See, the good thing about the Elmer's glue was that it made it pretty easy to take the skins off again if needed, but they would just kind of come off if you looked at it the wrong way. This, however, does actually work. It takes a little bit of time to set properly, so you have time to kind of fidget around and stuff and set it as you need to. Also, you can take it back off again if you need to. So it's kind of nice. But again, I would just say less is definitely more. Uh, I'm gonna need to go back afterwards and maybe work on the edges a little bit and potentially do a little cleanup over here. I didn't do best job so I'll run back over with a q-tip once it's dried and just kind of clean that off but that's basically the process of re-gluing skins back onto cameras if you take them off if you are taking the leather off of the camera uh, most of them will be fine but let's briefly talk about Canon or camera skins camera leatherette whatever you want to call it. let's just talk about it briefly so you have Pentax, Minolta, uh, Olympus, Nikon, and Canon. Those are kind of the main ones. Those are the ones that we're going to talk about for the sake of like cameras, SLR, 35mm SLRs that are kind of worth your interest to learn how to take the skins off of and to try to repair and this, that, and the other. All of them are very easy, except for Canon. Canon skins are the worst. The A1 skins in particular, the AE ones, the Canonettes, all of those skins are just god-awful. And really to get them off, the only way to do it is with one of these, which is just a heat gun, and you kind of hold it over, run it over, and that kind of loosens up the adhesive underneath. Now unfortunately that doesn't always work, and sometimes you need a little bit of extra pull on it to kind of get it off. And in doing so, that does show signs of stress on the leather. And the best way I've found to do that, like to fix that, is to go over with a bit of oil and kind of rub it in. And sometimes that helps. But other times it doesn't and you're just kind of SOL. However, all, for the most part, other 
cameras don't have that issue the leather is a little bit thicker the adhesive is a little bit more free and you don't necessarily need to result to using the heat so that's the fun tidbit there um, and yeah, that's pretty much all I know so I hope that helps uh, this is done now which I'm kind of stoked about like I said I'm gonna let it dry overnight and then in the morning I'll come back and clean up because there's there's some stuff still and I just want to give this a nice good cleaning now that it's kind of repaired and it's about ready to ship off so cool 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 thank you very much for watching appreciate it as always um, make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it subscribe uh, comment down below which camera uh, you hate taking the leather off of because that's a thing you have to do. I'm sure you probably have an opinion because let me tell you, I have I have opinions on on random things that nobody really cares about. So anyway, that is all. Thank you very much for watching. Appreciate it as always. I'll catch you on the next one.